Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what I wanted to talk about is plastic surgery. Woo! Um, it's so common these days, it's actually ridiculous. Um, so I wanted to talk about what I've had done, um, my experience, my regrets, um, what I wish I did differently. Uh, so yeah, basically that. So I've had a breast augmentation. I had that in 2014 when I was 19, 19 nearly 20. Um, so that's three, four years ago now. And when I got my um, breast augmentation just before I got really sick so I was in hospital they didn't know what was wrong with me I lost so much weight I was down to a size six so I was a little skinny mini um and so I lost so much weight that when I did go and have a breast augmentation cons consultation that it was just so unrealistic of my size, the sizes that I was looking at. And my mother came with me and she was so, so against the whole thing altogether. But I had so much determination that I was getting it done. I didn't give a crap what anyone said. Um, whether my mum approved or not, whether my dad approved or not, it was happening. And so she came with me and we were looking at sizes and you do that whole fill up a rice thing like stocking with rice at home first so I did that and I brought those in and I knew I wanted a D because I had that whole thing in my head like if you're going to go and do surgery go big or go home which is now when I think about it so freaking ridiculous I don't know why I had that in my mind especially now having a child and breastfeeding. Um, so yes, I looked at different sizes and my doctor did say to me, whatever size we go, the size you're kind of looking for, um, you go one up, like a half up or something. So I wanted 500 and he put 550 cc's in me. Um, and when I look at my friends now and I talk to my friends, they all have around the 300, 375, 400, 425. No one's really up in the 500s where I am. And that is really surprising to me as well. But the thing is, it's crazy because whenever I tell my friends, then they want what I have, but I don't want what I have. Okay? So let me just give you a little backstory. When I was just bef bef a little, a couple months before I got my breast augmentation, I was in an abusive relationship and I went through court against that person and all of this stuff and that, that went on for about two years. So my, you can imagine where my self-esteem was and my mental state was. It was very low. Um, I had a lot of mental health problems in the fact that I did not see my self-worth and I thought getting a breast augmentation would help me or change me, give me confidence, make me the person that I wish I could be like, and make that person wish like that they never did that stuff to me. I wish that I was in a different mental state when I made that decision because you can't just do something to your outside to try and fix your inside. You need to fix your inside and work to the outside. Now that I am mature and I'm older and I've been through so much crap, I can look back and say I should have waited um, to the point where I knew it was something I really wanted to do. Um, without just rushing into it and thinking it's going to be a quick fix for my self-esteem and my confidence. It, don't get me wrong, girl, it gave me the, that confidence um, and it built up my self-esteem. But then again, at the same time, I still wasn't happy. It wasn't good enough. Um, and then you run into those issues of now you're getting different types of attention that really you don't want um, from people that only are going to look at you because you have big breasts and it got to a point where 
I was having people my dad's age, like 40s, 50s, staring at me in a provocative way and I was just like, nah. And I would literally cover my chest up and look at them like, you are disgusting. But then again, I did it to myself because I enhanced something and I put it out there. Um, so yeah, my whole message about me doing this is hopefully... It will stop some people from just doing this because they think it's going to help them or they're down and um, they think this is going to give them an automatic confidence boost. It does, but in the long run, if the problem is inside you, fix that first. Fix yourself first. Make yourself happy. Just genuinely be happy with you before you go and do cosmetic surgery um and also now that i am breastfeeding and i have a child i want to rip these things out because my boobs are ridiculous um it's an issue like my breasts are bigger than my baby's head it's crazy, it's annoying, it's frustrating. And now that I'm working out again and I'm trying to run on the treadmill, I literally have to go like this and run. And I look like an idiot. Um, if I could do anything, I would go back and go a little bit smaller. That's the only thing that I would change. Also in the fact that work on myself first and then do something like this. Uh, and yeah, I would definitely go smaller. So like a 450, just a little bit smaller because, and I would say anyone that plans on having children and wants a breast augmentation, have your children first, please take my advice. Have your children first because gravity wins. Even when you have fake boobs, gravity always wins. Remember that gravity always wins. I wish I knew that because I would have waited until after and got a, like got my sexy mum body like after I had all my kids. But no. Uh, and the other cosmetic surgery I have had, it's not really so oh, you can kind of call it surgery. So I've had lip fillers. They're probably all gone now. But let me tell you about fillers. So fillers are so common, uh, it's ridiculous. And if you watch, actually, if you watch the show Botched, you will just sit there and think about surgery a lot differently. So watch Botched. Uh, I watch it on a regular basis and I sit there and think, man, why didn't I pay more attention to this show before? So one of my girlfriends, she was like a miss of something. And she like went to this lady because part of her prize of winning the beauty pageant competition, she got fillers and stuff from this place, from this lady that she trusted. So I went to her and I only got half a meal. This was the first time. I naturally had big lips. Asked my mum. Got it from my daddy. And um, so this lady, yeah, we went to this lady. I got half a meal. Uh, and then that night... My lip was so, when I say swollen, it looked like the rock had punched me in the face. I wish I had photos because I would openly show you if it stopped people and made them really think, is this what I want to do? Because there can be like repercussions. So my repercussion and my regret is... I got a hematoma. So a hematoma is a blood clot. I got a blood clot in my lip. It was swollen and so bruised, I can't even, I can't, I don't even want to imagine it anymore. So then I ended up, if you can't really see because I have lipstick on, I, you can kind of see it now. I ended up with a scar and I've had this scar for about three years, it hasn't gone. I've gotten filler probably twice since then. Uh, it kind of, the second time it, it kind of hit it, but not really, because once it went down, it was back to, back to the same. But can I just say, once you start playing with your lips, they'll never look the same. They'll, they might not, the filler might not always stay, but your lips will be different. Like I can tell you now, my, like, 
different. I have no filler left, but they're different. And what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Uh, yeah, I really just, I will never get my lips done again. Shout out to Julie at Laser Clinics at, what is that area now? Man, I moved out of Sydney and now I've forgotten places. King George's Road. Yeah, just Julie. She made my lips look a little bit more normal um, after the hematoma. So shout out to her. She's gold. If you're going to go to anyone, go to her. So yeah, no more lip fillers for me because I have a permanent scar. No one likes a dirty, ugly ass scar, especially on your face. <laughs> on my lips. So I'm always wearing darker colors and coloring that shit in. Uh, okay. Okay. And then what else have I done? I had Botox once. My mum was so mad at me. Said I didn't need it. You're young and blah 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 blah. Like your grown ups are always grown ups are always gonna tell you you don't need this, you don't need that. Don't play with nature. And I kind of believe it now. I wish I did believe it before. Um. So yeah, I had Botox. I kind of love Botox, but only once. Can't do it now because I have breastfeeding and I had a baby. I'm not against surgery, but the thing is, I want re people to really think about it first and know that in the long run, you may change your aesthetics, but if you're down on the inside, you need to find that self-love, that self-worth, that drive that's going to make you change your thought path and only you can change your life. Only you can do those things to make yourself feel better. Don't let your happiness rely on someone else. Don't let your happiness rely in fillers, breast implants. Just don't do that. Make your own self happy first. And then if you still want to go and fix those things, go do the damn thing, girl. Mm -hmm. But it's not really going to help your mental state. That's all I wanted to really talk about today and put an emphasis on self-love. And if you have any questions about plastic surgery, please message, message me on Instagram, comment below. I am so open about what I've had done. I'm not ashamed. Um, ask me anything. I don't care. I'm so open about it. I'm so free about it. I'll tell you what I've had done and like my issues and where I went and this and that. No problem. No problem, guys. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, like I said, comment below. Um, yeah. I need to stop saying um. It's really annoying. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Come visit my channel.